What is up guys, it's your boy Falcon back again and today we're working on my 2004 Chevy uh, Silverado. I think it's also going to work on avalanches, um, some GMC trucks. If you have the same automatic um, style AC controllers, this is going to help you out. This is so you can recalibrate it. Like if one of your actuators went bad or if you're testing, if you have a bad actuator, we need to recalibrate this first before we start checking anything else. So I'm going to show you how to recalibrate this controller. First off, this is the actual AC controller right here. This is the automatic AC controller with the two knobs here. There's another style that has the fan um, speed on this side and then like the, the temperature controls are like two knobs that go up and down right here. So this is the automatic style right here. So first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the key ignition, put it to the on position. There it is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the auto right here, put it to auto. Once it says auto right here, we're going to turn it off. We're going to turn off the car while it says auto right there. Now that we turn it off while the auto button is turned on, we're going to go to the fuse box and remove the fuse for the AC controller system or HVAC, whatever it says down there. We're going to go remove that fuse for like a minute or two to let everything reset. And then we're going to come back here. So let me go show you what fuse it is. So here we are. This is the engine. The fuse box is right here on the left side, right in front of the driver's side right here. I already removed the cover. If we see the diagram right here, we're gonna see right here, HVAC, let me put this a little bit closer. HVAC ECAS right there. There's the second one, a 10 amp fuse right there. Like the first one right here that it says it's a 25 amp rear wipers. We do not have, so it's gonna be this one right here. This is gonna be the HVAC. So we took it off. I have these little handy um, fuse belt removers that go right there. So I took it off. Now let's wait a minute. All right, we're back a minute later. So now I'm gonna put my fuse back on. Now that that's done, we don't need anything else down here. So we're gonna put my cover back on. And now back to inside the vehicle. Okay, so we're back inside the vehicle. What we're gonna do now is turn on the vehicle. When I turn on the truck, the HVAC system is gonna say auto and it should be at 74 degrees auto, which means it's like everything reset. We're gonna leave the truck on for like two minutes while the HVAC does like a complete cycle. It's gonna like all the little doors inside the AC system is gonna open up all the way and close them all the way. It's gonna go to like this whole self check system and recalibrate everything by itself. After the truck is on for two minutes and everything like stops moving, we're gonna turn it off for 10 for 10 seconds, but no more than 30 seconds. So we can let's say 15 seconds. We're gonna turn it off for 15 seconds, and then after that, we're gonna turn it on, and we should be all done, ready to go. So let's do that. Okay, so here we go. Let's turn on the truck. There it is, 74 auto, and it's gonna do its thing. It's gonna go um, from vent to defrost to floor. Then it's gonna go um, AC hot, um, sorry, AC, all that stuff. So now we're just gonna let it run uh, for two minutes, let it do its thing, and then we'll come back. All right, it's been two minutes, so now we're gonna turn off the car for 15 seconds. Whenever we turn on um, the car back on, we should be able to go ahead and mess with the AC systems while the um, it was doing its test for two minutes. You're not supposed to touch any of this. So while we're gonna turn it on, we can actually check it to see if it's gonna come out through here, through the top or through the bottom. So now it's been 15 seconds already. So we're gonna turn it back on. So there we are. So now everything should be self calibrated already. So now we can go ahead and start testing it out. We can uh, move it to hot. And then I can see if it's gonna come out hot right here. Yep, it switched over to hot already. Go back to cold. Yep, it's cold again. Now, um, let me put uh, defrost. Yep, I can feel it up there. So, I mean, there was nothing wrong uh, with my system, um, but I did just replace one of the bend door actuators. So I wanted to make sure everything was calibrated and ready to go before um, I move forward. Basically everything that I did 
um, it's a result of sometimes these things just stop working um, like you put them to hot cold and it doesn't go all the way to hot or it doesn't go all the way to cold or they just not responding or sometimes you replace a blender or actuator and then it's just not calibrated because you're not supposed to touch those whenever you put them on sometimes people would like to plug them in before they put them on and you're supposed to put them on make sure that the door is um, where it should be and then you put it on and then you plug it in so there's a lot of issues that could happen causing you to for this system to be not calibrated anymore or maybe your one of your blenders is not working but you're not sure so before you go there you need to make sure that you all this is calibrated after it's calibrated then you can start testing okay is the ac coming out through the bottom through the top through the dash and it, then if something is not working you know okay at least it's calibrated and then you can move forward to start checking your blend door actuators your actual blend doors hopefully not the blend doors because then you got to go inside the dash remove the dash and take out the uh, black air, air box and replace everything from in there which is a pain in the butt all right guys that is it that is how you recalibrate your automatic AC system, this is an 04, so I think um, 03 to 05, you should have the same system. If it is automatic, if it has the ones with the knobs, this is not the right procedure. I haven't come across that one, so I haven't really figured it out, but once I do, I'll do a quick search. I'll, I'll read about it, make sure I get the right procedures, and then I'll make a video about it. But for now, for the automatic one, this is how you do it. Alright guys, well I really hope this video was helpful to you guys. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell for me, share the channel. I will catch you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching and you guys have yourselves a great day.